coming up this time is a ganglion aspiration. So a young lad came to see me with a large ganglion on the distal dorso lateral aspect of the ankle. You can see it there, looks like a golf ball. It was quite sore. We, we like to aspirate for diagnostic purposes and he was kind of keen to get it aspirated and get some of the juice off. Um, there's just a view from the oblique side. So really quite a size, certainly the biggest one I've had for a wee while. So always worth trying to get some fluid off for diagnostic purposes. Occasionally it won't be ganglionic. Yeah, it's a, kind of like a weakness on the on the joint right, okay. or a tendon. So it's it's fluid coming from somewhere. So we have fluid in joints. Yeah. We have fluid in tendon sheaths. And if you get a little bit of a blowout on that lining, it can just fill and just become a bit of a nuisance. Right, okay. so, and, and generally in themselves. They're not normally that sore. Yeah. It's they press on something. Right. That was that wasn't me. That was yeah. the chair. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm getting old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> Let's just clean that skin for me. But, so this has been there for about six months, you reckon? Yeah, about that. I yeah. mean, that's a decent size. It isn't obviously it? wasn't that big when when it started it's growing over time. Doesn't everything? Well, yeah. yeah. So. Oh. Debt. Well, yeah. yeah, my stomach. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to just drain some fluid off for you. So yeah. it takes the pressure away from the lesion. Yeah, it makes it feel better. Now, what I like to do with these is I like to use. So I'm kind of talking to the camera as much as you. Yeah. I like to use a fairly kind of chunky needle, and what I'll often do is just do a little scratch. Three, two, one, just to kind of break the seal. Yeah, and then we'll see how much we can get off. The secret is to use the biggest needle you've got because it's goopy stuff. Three, two, one again, scratch. Goopy is a technical term. Let's have a little look. Mm. And doing trying to do the aspiration is really useful for diagnostic purposes because sometimes you can't get any fluid off and it says, well, it's not fluid. It can be a, a lipoma. Now, I'm not actually getting anything there at all, which kind of happens from time to time. Interestingly, the seal on that needle has gone. So it's just blocked the needle. Mm. You see, I've just... So it's just starting to come out a little bit now. Right, so I'm going to get rid of that needle. These are lovely safety needles. I'm just going to borrow this one because we can only afford two needles today, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can give you another stab. Three, two, one. I do like to kind of pop the lesion a little bit. It just sometimes helps it kind of go. It's really viscous, this. It's not coming down. Even though this is the widest needle we've got, it doesn't want to know. And again, that's blocked the needle. Can you see how that, that vacuum has gone? Right, so... I'm going to do one or two more stabs. Say when. Yep. Ah. Okay, that'll do. So now let's see what we can get off this. Yeah, it's okay. So it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. I need to make a slightly bigger nick in that just to just to. It's, it's a really viscous one that. Right, so. Thank you. Doing good? Yeah. Again, that, 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 that okay. Are you an HS or private? HS. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's, only, it's only the private ones we have to worry about. I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny little nick. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Still not wanting it. There you go, that's better. It's a toughie. It's a toughie. So. It's how much of this we can get out. So very, very viscous. So I'm thinking this is going to be one we're going to need to kind of take to theatre just to kind of take out the sack. Yeah. You know, if you can, because I'm trying to do a little bit of trauma to the sack. I get the odd one if I can really express all the fluid, mm. do a bit of trauma to the sack, and it will sometimes kind of like scar down. Yeah. Um, but this one's going to be a bit of a tinker. It's actually you know, it's very, very thick and viscous, and I can see why it's been so sore. Right, I'm going to stop that video there because it's just that'll be enough for oohs and ahs. Yeah. All right, cheers, buddy. Yeah, so I stopped the video there, but went back in, did one more quick stab, and that created a little bit more of a hole in the lesion, and then I was really able to get 
80-90% of the fluid off. Quite a sack. So I'm thinking that one's not going to scar down on its own. So I've, I've listed him for surgical excision. But you can see just the amount of cannulogonic fluid that you've got there. So apart from that we scratch, he felt much more comfortable afterwards because of the uh, the reduction in volume of the lesion that was pressing on the uh, the nerves and the tendons and, and the ankle joint itself. But yeah, sorry that um, I stopped the video at the best bit, but you get an idea. So yeah, excision next year, I think. Thanks for watching, guys.